Hey everybody, it's Wigaholic and I am back with yet another review. I did this. Yes. Well, I didn't make the wig, but I did this color. I did. Well, not completely, but you'll get the idea. Wanna find out more? We'll be right back. So this little lady I purchased from Queen King Hair off of AliExpress. Actually, I go straight, I go straight, I go straight through and talk to the girl on Instagram. Now, she came in this box and in the box, as always, you get wig caps and lashes. If anybody wants these, send me a message, you can have them. And a little coupon I can't get out of the box. It won't move. So let's talk about this piece. Um, I am going to be very honest and um, very upfront about my opinions on this particular piece. This piece is not my favorite piece that I have received from them. I have purchased several other pieces. This is probably my seventh or eighth. And while I loved the color, um, and the length, there were a few issues that I had with the piece itself. So the first one was when I went to um, flat iron this piece to do the coloring, I noticed that there were some things in the hair that were stuck to it. Um, I am gonna show you a picture of that. I did send this picture to um, them as well, and they explained to me that sometimes companies will stick um, pieces of cotton or other things into the hair in order to make it weigh more. Um, we worked with it. We went with it. We continued to go ahead and um, do the coloring, get the cut done, and I'm very happy with how the color and the cut did come out. Um, this was a 26 inch length Brazilian uh, Remy human hair wig. Now they have Remy and they have Virgin. Um, I have not had their Virgin. I would like to try it. We'll see how that goes. Um, it's 180 density. And I have to say the one thing that I did discuss with them, um, I did give them several feedback issues on this. Um, did not exactly get the um, response I hoped to get. Um, this is a lot of hair. It is 180 density. You can see there's a lot of hair. The issue that I believe there is, is all of that hair is down here. It needs more right here in the crown area. That is my personal opinion. I do not feel like I have enough coverage in that area for my personal taste. Um, when I reached out, told them, I didn't get nothing. So that's where we're at. So basically what I did was I went ahead and I flat ironed her. I added the rooting throughout which I am very, very pleased with. Notice she is not secured. No, she's not. I do wanna show you this. It was a pre-plucked hairline. So it is a very good hairline. And I would just tack this down if I was going to be wearing it out in public. I did leave the face framing pieces in the front. So it is a very good hairline. We'll be showing you the cap construction in a little bit. I also added some dimension colors underneath. Um, this technique I um, learned from a stylist. Uh, she does have a Facebook page and she has an Instagram account. Um, her name is Kimmy. I will leave the information for her Instagram down below. You can follow her and when she has her amazing pieces she posts, feel free to take advantage of getting a great piece. I will put some pictures up either here or here of where I took her from to where she's at now. 
If you're new to our channel, while we're at it, we'd like to ask you to hit that subscribe button and tap that bell so you can be informed and up to date on companies, what we think of them, issues that may arise, um, all sorts of stuff, wig reviews, you name it, we do it. Also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And we'd also like you to join our wig family if you'd like on Facebook. I'll leave all that information down below as well. I will leave the link as to where you can find this piece and Queen King hair down below as well. So I'm loving the way it took color. I'm loving the fullness of it. It's very sucky, silky. It's very silky. It does take a curl well, but now let's take a 360 tour of her and y'all let me know what you think. Be nice because you know, I did do some of this work myself and I have feelings. Okay, so let's do a 360 and then we'll look at our cap construction. She is long layered. So let's take a look at her cap construction. Now, please be cognizant that I have customized this wig myself. So you will see dye and you will look at it and think they did that. No, I did that. And yes, I'll take credit for it. So it is a frontal wig, which means the back is wefted. It does have a comb in the back as well as the pull claw adjustable straps. And it also has an elastic band to do the glueless method. I may replace this with a different kind of strap. I find that I get more of a secure glueless feel with another cap. And yes, you'll see through the front that I have hair color that has come through the lace front. It's about a 13 by four lace front. You do have combs here and here as well. I have gone ahead and cut the front lace and let's go back and take another look at it. I am overall satisfied with the piece, but are there things they could do better? Absolutely. Are there things they definitely did wrong? Absolutely. But none of us are perfect. We all make mistakes, so I will definitely give them another try. I do have another piece to review that is also a lace front um, wefted cap that I did not have this issue with. I do want to say that. I have another piece. I did not have the same issue with it. However, um, I do know other people who have had the issue on different pieces. So maybe they'll take it into account if people are bringing it to their attention. So y'all can tell I'm not an expert. I have not arrived with the color yet. I'm still working on my techniques. Be gentle with me. Be patient or, you know, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Y'all have a great night. Please give this a huge thumbs up and make sure you share it. We will see you soon. I love you and bye-bye.